Cool, that might float your balloon twister. And this time I want to teach you how to make a ballerina out of only two balloons. This is a really fun design. It's great for line work or any party where you need a ballerina made quick. Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need two balloons. I'll be using pink for the ballerina and white for the tutu. We're gonna start with the tutu. Get your white 260 and inflate it halfway. Don't let it pop on you. Let's mark out. It's high. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. The tutu is a flower petal cluster made of six flower petals that are small and soft. You make a flower petal by folding it over, squeezing it, and twisting it. You want it to be soft and about three inches tall. Now you make five more, just like that. Two, three, four, five, six. It's okay if they're not all the same size. Take the excess, pop it off, leave yourself a little bit of slack to wrap around the center, and you want to organize them so that they're all running the same way. And what I mean by that is that they're running out from the center and they're flat this way. So you can see I have my flower petal or tutu. Now that we have our tutu ready, it's time to make the ballerina. Take your pink 260 and inflate it halfway. Let's mark out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna start with the head. We're gonna make two small bubbles that are about two inches long. I guess if they're two inches long, they're not really all that small, but they should be about the same size. We're gonna take the knot here and twist it into this seam here. And to keep it from coming undone, we're gonna feed the knot through the middle so it comes out the other side. So that's the head. I know it doesn't look like much, but trust me, it comes together pretty nice. Give a squeeze and a stretch so it won't pop on us. We're gonna make the arms next. We're gonna make sections that are four inches long. Four inch long section, followed by a one inch bubble. Followed by another one inch bubble. Followed by another four inch section. So you have four inch, four inch, one inch, one inch. We're gonna twist this seam here into this seam here where the arm meets the head. So these are the arms. Now we're gonna take the head and we're gonna gently place them in between the arms. This is why it needs to be soft. And push it down just a little bit. And feel free if you need to just to open up the head a little bit, just to make some room for those arms. So you can see her arms are up. It's like she's doing this, like a ballerina would. See, ballerina. Now it's time to make the rest of the body. We're gonna go down four inches, or you know, three inches if you don't want it to be a very tall ballerina. And now we're gonna give this part here a squeeze and a stretch. This next part can be a little tricky. We need to hold on to that seam, but free up our hands so we can twist the rest of her legs. So I'm gonna stick it between my pinky and ring finger, bringing up my pinching and twisting fingers. I'm gonna twist a section about four inches, followed it up with a big bubble, maybe an inch and a half or two inches. That's gonna be one of the shoes. Now I'm gonna do a small bubble, like half an inch, followed it up with another big bubble, about two inches. And now I need one more bubble that's about four inches. So what I need is I need these two here to be the same length. I need these two here to be the same length. I'm gonna twist this seam here into this seam here. This part here I don't need, so I can push the air to the end, pop it, and then just tie a knot so it doesn't come undone on me. These bubbles here, the two inch bubbles we made, we're gonna pinch twist those by folding it over. Pinching it, pulling it, and twisting it. Now mine came undone on me. Sometimes that happens. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch twist this one and then fix it. So now that I have my little ballerina slippers pinch twist, I'm gonna fold this back over, find that same spot, and twist it back into there. Wrap it around a couple of times so it doesn't come undone on me. All right, so now we have our ballerina. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but when we add the tutu, it starts to come together. Now comes my favorite part of this design. We're gonna open up two of the flower petals and feed this seam right here in between them, just like this. And the tension will hold it in place. You don't even need to twist it around. You just need to slip it in. Now we adjust it. Wanna make sure the legs are at the same position. 
and that the head is facing forward from the legs. And we have ourselves a cute little ballerina. Or whatever they dance to. Now we get to draw the face on it. For the face, I'll be using a black Sharpie to draw the face and a white paint marker just to get a little bit of accent in the eyes. This is the face I'm going to try to draw so you can see what it's going to look like ahead of time. For the face, I start with the bangs. I'm going to draw a trapezoid, but with like the top missing. At least I think that's a trapezoid. Now I'm going to draw lines going up from the bottom to signify the rest of the bangs, to make the bangs look more bangy. Now I'm going to do the killer cues that come down from the top of the bangs. So going from the top of the corner of the bang, I'm going to draw a long line that curls at the bottom. And that's just to frame the rest of the face. Now just below the bangs, I'm going to draw two small circles and I'm going to fill them in. And those are going to be the eyes. And then for the nose, I'm going to do a greater than sign. Because everybody knows every ballerina thinks that she's greater than every other one. And then I just do a small little curved line at the bottom for the mouth, like a little bit of a smirk. That way you can tell by looking at her that she thinks she's better than you. I'm just kidding. That's a little too on the nose. Now it's time to add our accents with our paint marker. Make sure you shake it. And this is just really easy. You just put a small little dot in the right corner of the eye. And that's just to give it a lot of character. I'm telling you, a little bit of art goes a long way on these simple balloon animals. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Oops, and I almost forgot the eyelashes. For the eyelashes, I just do a small arc over each eye. And then on the side of the, each arc that's closest to the end of the face, I do three more arcs. And there we have our eyelashes. Isn't she adorable? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video, guys. As always, if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. And I'll see you back here next Monday with a brand new balloon animal lesson. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even a ballerina.